To rule one of GDNT also known as perfect form at MMC or individual feature of size or envelope rule states that for any individual regular feature of size the form of the feature is controlled by its tolerance limits as described below any regular feature of size when manufactured at its maximum material condition limit MMC shall have perfect form here perfect form means perfect flatness perfect straightness perfect circularity and perfect cylindricity when a regular feature of size is manufactured at a size dimension that is lower than the MMC limit towards LMC, a deviation in form is permitted from the actual size up to MMC limit. To understand rule 1, let's take a part with regular feature of size with limits of size of diameter 20 plus minus 0.5. After manufacturing, we can have different geometry of parts made, some are shown. Part having form error with maximum limit of 20.5 and minimum limit of 19.5. Part produced at minimum limit size with bow shape. Part produced at maximum limit with bow shape. Part produced at maximum limit and perfectly straight. Let's take each part and understand how rule 1 applies. According to rule 1, actual local size should be between diameter 19.5 to diameter 20.5 and part has to enter in envelope of MMC of diameter 20.5. For first case, everywhere actual local size is within the range and it enters the envelope of diameter 20.5. So it follows rule 1. For second case, at every cross section actual local size is LMC and is within the range. And it also enters the envelope of diameter 20.5. So it also follows rule 1. For third case, Actual local size is 20.5 everywhere, which is within the range. But it will not enter into the envelope of diameter 20.5. So this part produced at MMC with form error will not follow rule 1. Finally for this part, everywhere local size is within the range. And it enters in the envelope of diameter 20.5. So this part with perfect form at MMC will follow rule 1. That's why rule 1 is called perfect form at MMC. Rule 1 is also called individual feature of size rule because it does not control the location or orientation of feature of size. Here in this example, rule 1 is applied only to diameter and length of part is independent of it. It only controls individual feature and does not control perpendicularity of axis.